60,000 New Yorkers were tested for COVID-19 on Saturday. Less than 800 of those tests came back positive. That's a less than 1% infection rate, something the state hasn't seen since before March 16th. Governor Cuomo and other leaders, though, were urging people still to get tested and not let up on social distancing and mask wearing and tracking and tracing. The governor will now allow small high school graduations to take place starting later this month. Small as in no more than 150 people outdoors starting on Friday, June 26th and after. Those outdoor ceremonies can start to happen. Several school districts, of course, have senior classes much larger than 150, not counting parents and siblings. The date also is subject to changes if there is any further outbreaks or upticks in the COVID-19 pandemic over the next few weeks. This weekend, the city of Syracuse joined the nation in another weekend of protests, a peaceful march through the Strathmore neighborhood, much smaller, though, than the one the day before when thousands gathered downtown to protest for racial equality and against police violence. It was the ninth straight day of protests yesterday in central New York. A man is critical after being stabbed in the head last night in Syracuse. Police say this happened at about 8 o'clock on Butternut Street, not far from Schiller Park. The 30-year-old man taken to the hospital where at last report he was in critical condition.